if I'm done comparing, I can go back to my uh, tool list and um, let me talk about the uh, area, the tools that you see on the right hand side of the page shortly. The first one shows me uh, file information itself. Um, the second one shows me which channels are available in this particular image. Now these are RGB images. So in this case I have uh, red, green and blue. If I move the mouse over the image you can see that the amount of ink used in each of these channels is displayed in the color swatch. This works exactly the same way if you have a CMYK file or if you have a CMYK plus spot file. Uh, the only thing that will differ is that you will have uh, four channels for a CMYK file and of course CMYK swatches. At the top, as I move the mouse, you can see a total ink uh, indication as well. Also, you can see checkboxes next to each of the channels. What I can do is uh, deselect those so that I don't see that particular channel. If I go down so that I see only one of those channels, I get a simulated black and white preview of the proof. And again, this works the same for a four color or full four color plus spot uh, document. The next tool in the, uh, in the row here is uh, an annotation tool. And the annotation tool allows me to add an annotation and say, um, we should think about this color because I'm not sure I like it. So I type some text and then I select one of the tools that I have and I um, drag a marker on top of the file. I can drag multiple markers for the same text. So basically I enter a comment and then indicate with the, the marker tools that I have uh, what that particular comment is about. Simply drag uh, a pin or I can drag an eyedropper that uh, shows me what the percentages of uh, each channel are for that particular uh, item that I have uh, marked. So in this case, when I make a comment about the color, it would make sense to indicate that with a, an eyedropper so that uh, immediately uh, it is also showing the, uh, the ink values for that particular spot and the color mix for that particular spot. I can add a, a rectangular um, annotation or a circle one. This is fairly standard, all of this. Or I could say, no, I am going to simply uh, draw something, uh, draw a shape. And I don't have a mouse attached here, so it will be a very weird shape, but you get the point. Or again, I have a ruler so that I can uh, measure the uh, tire of the car, for example, and say, well, shouldn't we look for a car with bigger tires? Because people like that more. And again, it shows you the, uh, the length of what you have uh, measured, and it shows you the total area of what you have measured. When I have added all of the text and the, uh, the markers that I want to make my point, I, I click done and that annotation is added to that particular proof. Now if we were looking at the same proof with multiple people, that annotation would pop up, be pushed to all of those people currently looking at that proof. So in that way it is an interactive way of uh, annotating the file if you want. And even better, instead of simply adding my own comments, um, I could select the reply tool and say I'm going to answer what uh, was said here. Uh, yes, you are right. We should look at the color. Um, I like purple better. There you go. So instead of doing something completely new, I simply add a reply. Now, in most cases, I wouldn't reply on my own comments, but I would reply on the comment of someone else. But you get my point again. 
Everyone who has been invited to the proof and who has the correct access rights can make um, annotations, comments like this one. Separately from that, and that is something that you find in the last button uh, on the right hand side, separately from that you have the ability to uh, change the status of this particular proofing image. So approve, reject, approve with comments. What I can do is say I want to add status here. Um, I'm going to approve but with changes. If I say that then I need to uh, add uh, a comment here. Look at the color remarks I made. And because I am approving or rejecting this particular image, I also need to retype my password. Click done, and when I click done, I get in the user interface the, um, the the notification that I did indeed say OK with changes, and I made a comment. It is yellow in this case because it's an OK, but with changes, it would be green if I simply say I approve, or it would be red if I say I reject this particular proof. What I skipped at the bottom here is a possibility to print this particular proof or uh, to view reports. And when I go to that now, you can see that view reports allows me to, say, to see all of the annotations for this particular proof. Um, I have a list here that says, that gives all of the comments. It is, uh, has this a threaded look that you also see in email clients where you see the original annotations and you see the replies that people made um, on those uh, annotations. You can filter based on a number of different uh, parameters um, and I could filter by saying oh uh, the uh, file name uh, is uh, in this case the uh, A version and then I only see the comments that were made about that particular image or I could filter by uh, person uh, not for example to see the comments that were made by a particular reviewer because I don't like him or don't think he's important or just the other way around because I want to see what a particular person said about this proof. You can also print the overview of uh, all of the annotations for this particular uh, proof. Instead of seeing the annotations, I could see and look at the status of the file. And here you can see that I actually uh, approved both of the images in the meantime. Um, and you can see the comment that I made and uh, when I approved them and so on. Good. So, as a user who was invited to a particular uh, proof, this is basically the process that I have available. I will receive, remember the email, I will receive an email with a link in it that leads me directly to the proof. In that proof, I can see all of the different images that were added. I have a number of tools available at the bottom to examine that proof, look at details and so on. And then I have a number of tools available that allow me to comment on the proof and finally to approve or reject it. Now, when I have done that, I could also go to my overview of all of the projects that I have been invited to. Simply click on the projects link at the top. And there you can see that this was in fact the only proof that I was invited to uh, so far, but I have the complete list here. If I go, and we'll see that again in a second, if I go to the home menu, you can see that there are three main areas in the remote director user interface, manage account, create a project and view projects. View projects is the list where we uh, just were, where I can see all of the proofs that I was invited to. Manage account allows me to set my preferences, personal information, password, and so on. 
and create a project is unavailable for me right now because I was invited to a proof. I do not, as this user, have the right to create my own uh, proofs.